sugar, is it fattening? Now, if you read some newspaper articles, sugar is basically described as the devil incarnate. It will cause obesity, diabetes, it will kill your pet, sleep with your partner and steal your lunch money. But is this reputation deserved? Firstly, high sugar intake is associated with higher body weights. This has been shown in the literature, both in terms of sugar and sugar sweetened beverages specifically. So that's that. Not quite, my friends, not quite. See, one of the issues with large observational studies is it's difficult to be entirely sure of caloric intake. For example, people who consume more sugar may be more likely to be overweight, but we can't be entirely sure how many calories they're eating. And in some instances, we aren't also sure that we can isolate that effect from other lifestyle factors. For example, people who consume more sugar may exercise less and live unhealthy lifestyles in general. Therefore, linking high sugar intake with higher body weight is potentially more of a correlation rather than a causation. This issue has been highlighted in the literature where some studies aren't necessarily standardized for caloric intake. So to test whether sugar itself is fattening, we have to look at research that does standardize caloric intake. So in one study, comparing 5% sucrose intake to 15% sucrose intake, there was no difference in terms of body composition between the two conditions. Likewise, this has been shown in a study comparing 4% sucrose intake to 43% sucrose intake. So we know that you can consume sugar within your diet without ruining your physique, assuming that your calories are in check. So is sugar fattening compared to other sources of carbohydrates? No, not on a calorie for calorie basis. Now, does this mean you can consume as much sugar as you want as long as your calories are in check? Hypothetically, sure. Would it be a sensible idea? Fuck no. So although sugar isn't inherently fattening as such, it does have some serious drawbacks. So for example, if you are consuming very high sugary junk foods, the chances are the overall quality of your diet is going to diminish. Because to make room for those calories within your diet, you're gonna to have to sacrifice the amount of whole foods that you're eating. So in that regard, the micronutrients you're consuming in your diet are going to diminish if you're consuming a lot of sugary junk food. Likewise, this can also affect the macronutrients in your diet. For example, if you're consuming a lot of sweets, chances are you're going to have to decrease protein intake to facilitate those calories. Also, sugary junk foods tend to be extremely caloric dense and not very satiating. For example, this bag of Haribo, this delicious, beautiful, alluring bag of Haribo, contains about the same number of calories as this bag of potatoes, which are significantly more satiating. So, to answer the question, can you consume sugar within your diet without getting fat? Yes, absolutely. Is sugar inherently fattening compared to other sources of carbohydrates? No, it is not. However, sugary junk foods aren't very filling and they're very, very easy to overeat. So if a large portion of your diet is coming from sugary junk foods, chances are your diet quality is going to suck. So although you can consume sugar in your diet, it does still make sense to minimize it to keep the overall quality of your diet high. That's it, I hope it's been helpful, thank you.